In the summer and fall of 2010, we built a new training building here at Learburg. This building uh, has been featured in some of our newsletter videos, and we got a lot of emails from people asking what we put down on the floor, what size the building was, that type of thing. This little video will show you our training center. I'll explain what's on the floor, how we clean it, and how we heat this building. I'll begin by saying that we don't train dogs for people. I have never trained dogs for people. We don't board dogs here. We don't groom dogs here. This building was built specifically for Cindy and I to train our personal dogs with, and we have friends that come and train with us. Our building is 120 feet long by 50 feet wide. The actual training room is 40 feet wide by 120 feet long. We have storage rooms off to the side. I've been asked why I chose that size, and it just came down to wanting a large room to fit the possible space that we have on our land. We have 40 acres here, but I wanted the training building to be next to the office and kennel building. The floor of our training building is covered with 40 inch by 40 inch by three quarter inch foam agility mats that were purchased from a company called greatmats.com. You can go to their website and see the specs on these mats. Just type in agility in their search box on their website. You can see how the mats fit together here. The building is heated with hot water heat in the floor. Back in 1990, when I built my dog kennel, I used hot water heat there, and I'm a believer in the system. Now, when I built my dog kennel, I used a Wurzbo system. Uh, I did not use Wurzbo in my training center. I believe what we have here is a better system than Wurzbo. It's less complicated. This little boiler, which is not much more than 24 inches tall, heats our entire building. Each of the loops in the floor have their own pump. You can see the loops coming out of the floor there. If you ever build a building, don't let your plumber talk you into putting in a Wurzbo system. I have Wurzbo in the dog kennel and in my home, and it's way too complicated with all the little computer boards and everything else. The heating system we have in this building is just much simpler and much cheaper to do service work on. Our furnace room also functions as a change room for our decoys. Uh, we keep our bite suits in here, and it's, it's where the decoys come to put their equipment on. Here you get a better look and feel for the size of the boiler. Now, we really like uh, the flooring material we picked. Uh, I got another email this morning asking what the mats were. This is how we clean it. Uh, there's two methods that we use to clean. We use this bulldog scrubber, uh, which is not cheap, but when it's done, uh, it, these mats look almost brand new. It puts water down, and then it scrapes the water up and vacuums behind it like you see here. It wasn't an easy decision to go out and uh, spend over $5,000 on this scrubber, but we did some research. A friend of ours has one of these for her building, and in the end, you're in for a penny, you're in for a pound when you build a building like this. I wanted to keep these mats looking new, and this is a product that um, I chose to go with. It's battery-operated, self-propelled, uh, and like I said, it wasn't an easy decision to do. But I don't regret it. Now here's the second way we clean our room. It's, a, it's actually a, a broom called a crancel. Our friend Donna Mady and Michael Ellis each have these. It's made in Germany. It's about $450. But it's slick. There's no motors to it or anything else. Uh, you just push it and... There's where all the dog hair and dirt go in. You just dump that out. So we we sweep the mats with a crancel, and then we go over it with the bulldog scrubber, and our mats look almost brand new when we're done. This is one of the slickest little machines I've ever seen. You can go on uh, on the Internet. I forgot where I bought it. I just 
did a search on Crancel and uh, and bought it. I'll tell I'll tell you how strong this is. You can push this over a frisbee, one of these rubber frisbees, and it'll sweep it up. In my opinion, anybody that has a training center should have one of these crancels. Now, I'm a bow hunter, and uh, I put these shooting cubes in my training center. And I'd like to blame this arrow on somebody else, but right now I'm looking for an artist that can paint a little boy with uh, this arrow right through an apple on the top of his head. And then that arrow will stay there for as long as I own this building. Part of the beauty of living in Wisconsin is the winters that we have here. Both Cindy and I snowshoe, and this is out the back door of our training center. And while we live in the city limits, we're lucky enough to live right next door to some folks that have a lot of woods. So we can do a mile or two loop very easily right out the back door of the training center of snowshoeing with our dogs. And this is the back side of uh, our office building right next to the training center. ¶¶